I had the chance, I would probably paint five or six hours every day. If a couple days go by and I haven't painted, I really, really miss it. So I try to at least dabble with something. Given the choice, though, I would paint every day. I think the most important thing um, when someone's working with paints initially is to really just feel the paints and move them around and not have an attachment to what the end product's going to be, but just enjoy the experience of moving the paint around. Okay, I was just thinking, I laid something down, put some water on it, moved it around. I think it's really cool. I think that it's amazing that you can take tubes of color and you can make something with it. It's, I think it's just amazing. And it's messy. I like it because like it it's messy. <laughs> I can't deny it. We were designed to play, not to work all the time. I mean, work is satisfying and work is good, but we're designed to play as well. And to express ourselves, to appreciate creation. Sometimes grown-ups get caught up in the rat race and the material thing. Not that we don't need to pay our bills, but and they forget about feeding their soul. And this is a way to feed your soul. You're not, you're not concerned about what's happening around you or the frailties you have or what other people think in a negative way. It's like your true inner being where you're joyous or sorrowful, whatever it may be, whatever the raw emotion may be, there it is. And that to me is the true self. I think inside of every person there is something really profound and important that they want to say. And different people find different ways to do that. It's my favorite form of language. It's a way to look at the world and understand it better. It gives you the opportunity to share with other people how you feel about the world. To me, the world is, it's difficult, definitely, it's challenging, but it is spectacularly beautiful and joyous. I think that my biggest inspiration for painting is a desire to help people experience the beauty that they're surrounded by. To me, it hits a certain point where it's like, okay, I know exactly where it's gonna go now. But when, you first, for, when I first start, it's, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna develop. There's a certain point when I start smiling, it's like, yes! All the different elements come together and it feels like it has life to it. That it's not just a flat painting of something, that it actually has life. And then you have to stop and walk away. My name is Lisa Jill Allison.